morning from the mountains of Nagano. We are on our way to the snow monkeys inside the Jigoku Dani monkey park. And this is actually my second time going there and out of all the times I've been, this is the best weather. It's sunny and we're about to go on a 30 minute hike through the mountains and just kind of like take in this beautiful scenery because it is absolutely stunning out here. So let's go see those guys chilling in the onsen. One of my absolute favorite things is the hike all the way up to the snow monkeys because you just get to walk along these kind of curvy um, bends and you're just surrounded by these beautiful trees. The wood is like absolutely stunning. The green, the white, the snow on it. It just adds to the experience. Even if you're not a hiking person, you will enjoy this. Trust me. While you're walking along, they have a few informative signs about the snow monkeys and I love to just stop and read them to learn something else. And I've come across one now and it's like, are we really different to the snow monkeys? Are we? No, we are the same. We both go in onset. <laughs> Be careful that you don't fall off because it's really dangerous. While you're walking, you may come across some snow monkeys on the hike. So keep your eyes peeled and you might spot an early monkey. I'm also with my trusty travel companion, Alyssa. Here I am again. <laughs> and it's your first time at the snow monkeys, right? Yes, I'm super excited. I heard they're very cute. Are you gonna go swimming with them? If they let me or if I can sneak in without them noticing. Yeah, good we'll plan. See. We'll see. <laughs> By the way, the snow monkeys in Japanese I learned yesterday was Nihonzaru. Yes. Which literally translates to Japanese monkeys, which is not like snow monkeys. <laughs> Brain instead. science. Brain science. <laughs> yeah, it's not like Yuki Zaru. Yeah, I don't like think. Yuki, yeah. Snow monkey, yeah. It's, yeah. Which I guess that makes sense in Japan. They're very proud of their monkeys, so. Yeah. Nihonzaru. After you come out of the forest, you're greeted by this magical, beautiful area leading up to the onsen. We just gotta go up the steps and we'll be there. I've always wondered, can you stay in these hotels over here? Because there's a lot of buildings and it must be like the perfect place. Can you imagine waking up? Maybe there'll be a monkey being like screaming at your door like, eh, good morning. <laughs> That's actually kind of scary, so maybe not that experience. But yeah, all right, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna buy my ticket inside. For one person, it is 800 yen, so pretty affordable. You can actually pay for your tickets with Sika now, and once you're inside, they have a set of lockers if you do wanna store your stuff. Inside, don't touch the monkeys. Other than that, let's have some fun. So we've arrived, and the snow monkeys are right here, chilling behind us in the onsen like we'd expected and hoped. And I feel like they're living the dream life. Who doesn't wanna just chill in an onsen all day and just be hanging with your buddy, your family, and getting your like skin picked? If you hang around here, there's like a lot of action that happens between the monkeys. But yeah, there's so many cute little baby monkeys. There's like literally like the mums caring for the, the child and vice versa. It's just so wholesome to see like nature at its finest. It's getting really busy, so this is the main place where you can kind of get a really good shot down here below, but up there you can also get another view. Uh, so I might move away because don't want to block the view for too long. They actually have a live camera here, which is really helpful if you're coming here and you want to know what the conditions are like. Like, are they sitting in the onsen? Is it snowing? So I highly recommend checking that out. Also, hi mom. <laughs> Whenever I go to the snow monkeys, she's like, I want to watch you on the live cam. So here I am. Hi, Sarah's mom. Hi. When you visit, share it with your friends. They can all say hi from their homes in their onsen or bathtub at home. So we made some Japanese friends along the way and they've taken some really awesome photos of us. And he's like, do you want to take a photo? Well, I was like, I'll take a photo of you guys. And it's this massive camera. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. I'm gonna upgrade my camera to this. We got a photo together. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Japanese snow monkeys are actually the only ones in the world to go inside of a hot spring so it's super unique and something you can only experience in the wild here because naturally the monkeys don't like getting wet so the reason they're going in is because it's so cold and there just happened to be a hot spring nearby so they used it to warm up there's apparently 160 snow monkeys approximately in this area when you come and visit they might not all be just sitting outside in the onsen they're going to be running up the mountains they're going to be playing with each other they might actually be in the trees so you won't spot all of them but i'm guaranteeing that you're going to see at least 10. probably more but don't want to hire your expectations. <laughs> Alyssa has made friends with the snow monkeys. It's important to make friends with people you go to. What should I name him? Or I'm sorry, his name is... Nihon Zaru Boy. I was thinking Excalibur. Or <laughs> Xanthabar. Xanthabar. He looks like a Xanthabar.
You know, there was a sign at the beginning of the road which was like, how different are humans and the snow monkeys? And that really seems to be true. I mean, they're just living the life I want to live, sitting in onsen, playing with snow. I think they have things figured out. They're great. One of my favorite things about the snow monkeys, I don't know if you feel the same, is like, they're really cute butts. They're like, <laughs> have you seen them yeah. yet? All the they're Japanese, like bright red. All the Japanese people like always comment on it too when they like turn around and can show their like butts. They're like, oh, Kai! Yeah, like everyone's like, Kai! Kai! Pants, it's great. No, it's really cute. And also the babies. The babies are yeah, like, yeah, yeah, there's one kawaii. tiny little baby. Yeah. yeah. After being out in the cold for so long, I am so grateful they have a little indoor area. Yeah, and you can rest in here and also, most importantly, buy souvenirs. I always come here and buy postcards. Honestly, the postcard quality here is top-notch. Japan is not known for their postcards, but here, postcards are super great. Um, yeah, we picked up some. And they also have really cute snow monkey related goods. I'm not like the biggest fan of buying like random things, so yeah. yeah, but they have really cute ones. I bought like the monkey magnet, I've got it at home and they used to have like this little onsen keychain. So I might buy some other stuff and have a look around and warm up. Cause we're gonna go back out <laughs> and just watch the monkeys. Yeah. Come back outside to see them one more time. It's so cute. I never want to leave. <laughs> One of my tips is don't bring any food. They do have signs telling you not to, but in the past, the first time I came, I had like a piece of bread or something in my pocket and they tried to rip it out of it. Um, or maybe it wasn't me, it was someone else, but they, they, they will go for your food. So be really careful of what you have in your pockets and don't touch them. They are wild animals. They won't come and hurt you, but if you like, you know, aggravate them, you know, it's not gonna end well. Please don't do that. <laughs> It's time to head back down the mountain, but we are not done yet. We are going to one of the best cafes, restaurants you'll ever go to. And I say that because it tastes amazing after you've been through this experience of hiking, going, being in the cold, and just having a hot chocolate after all that is, what can be that? So I've been there before, it was really good, so I'm, I'm, I'm manifesting it. <laughs> anyway, on the walk down, it's super slippery. Alyssa has fell several times. Well, actually not fell, nearly fallen down. So be extra careful when you're walking back because that would be sad to, to go. On the path down, I fell and slipped and hurt my leg. So I'm a little sad, but I'm gonna cheer myself up with some hot chocolate, a well-deserved one. It's as good as I remember. That cream, that hot chocolate, it's so, so good. I'm gonna have a pizza, and then that's pretty much it. Definitely come to this cafe if you're visiting the Snow Monkeys, because it's a perfect place to just stop on the way down, or even on the way up. I hope I get to come see the Snow Monkeys for the fourth time in the future, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching, bye.